What's up, everyone? In this video, we are going to talk about the LSDA. Gee, what are these? 610? Yeah. LSDA 610. That's all right. That's 610. I did backwards. Uh, deadbolts. Now, I have a feeling our distributor watches my videos because those were sent to me uh, to, uh, I guess, look at. However, uh, when they told me when I ordered yesterday, I had an unboxing and I didn't really, I did a video, but it wasn't, I didn't want to do an unboxing. I actually just wanted to talk about those deadbolts. Uh, they said that they were going to include those in the box that I ordered. Uh, presumably to talk about them, and there's also a double cylinder version. These are dark bronze. I say that it was, uh, it was a case of, of them seeing my video because I did talk about LSDA deadbolts not being available in a dark bronze color. And uh, what I meant really was these old deadbolts. Uh, and, and basically, I was, I was, I was kind of wanting, well, not kind of, I, I do want the 20 series and a 25 series. If we look at the Acme catalog, we have the 20 series deadbolts. And the 25 which is a double cylinder 20 series we have bright brass antique brass and 11p okay so we have that uh, and then 15 which is satin nickel and then brushed chrome double cylinder got bright brass antique brass satin nickel satin nickel satin nickel satin nickel brush nickel, brush chrome and that's it so there's no double cylinder option for the 11P finish, uh, which is why I mentioned that in uh, uh, the unboxing or whatever video that, uh, that they saw that in. Over here, we've got this grade two, which is the 260 in 10BE. Now, I'm gonna kind of talk about the whole 10B issue, but we'll flip over here. Remember, we had single cylinder in 11P, we have 70 series, which is the quick set clones. This is a clone of a quick set. And uh, here we've got brass, antique brass, and that's it. Or brushed chrome, there's brushed chrome too, right there, uh, 32D. Uh, in the lever handles, which is the 50 series, we have some 11Ps. And I've actually ordered some of these. These are actually not too bad for residential grade handles. We have the Oog. This is called the Oog because it's 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 the Oog. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oog O O G. Only available in bright brass. And uh, then the 10 series. So then the 10 series is available in 11P. Uh, and then uh, Wiser Keyway. Wiser Wiser. No. 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 So not available in the Wiser Keyway, only available in Quickset and Schlage, I believe. So, and then of course with the grade two, you've only got the 10BE or the 10B finish right here. Uh, so I, the reason I point this out and the reason I bring this up is because of the, there's a divide between uh, this. If I wanted to sell somebody 11P, which is Venetian bronze or aged bronze finish, like the, let's say, just using for an example, this Dexter. We see that's uh, that's uh, that's an 11P finish, or 716 is actually what Schley goes by. So 716 right there. Uh, 716 finish, aged bronze is different than 10B. 10B is an old commercial finish. Uh, and then we have like 613 from, uh, which is very similar to 10B in the old B160s. The reason I'm bringing all this up, and when we have a new Schleg deadbolt over here, the B60. The reason I'm bringing this up because these two deadbolts are same deadbolt, single cylinder or double cylinder, with the 10B finish, Schleg QA, are copies of the B160 series. 162 being double cylinder, 160 being single, which I don't have one out here. 
Uh, we're going to take a look at these, uh, and we're going to kind of talk about the finish. What I was kind of hoping for, the, the problem that we run into here, number one, uh, no 11P doorknob. If we, you know, we got the 70 series, and then if we come over here, let's just take this 10B, and, and again, if we remember the book, it does show that there's a 10B or an 11P, one of these doorknobs, double checking. Double check myself, uh, or is it double the 10, the 10 series, 10 series, where are you? Yeah, but it's not available in a wiser keyway. So, if I wanted to put or replace, for instance, a wiser deadbolt in 11P finish, uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult. The only thing also about the 10B, or the 10 series, yeah, the 10B, and, and this is my biggest turnoff about these locks, and it always has been, if we unwrap it here, I'm doing this one-handed, is the trim ring. Look how, look how small that trim ring is. The only thing I've never liked about these is, is, is see, how, see how close that is? See how small that trim is? If I have, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay, this one's ruined. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know how that happened because the box is not, the box is not really crushed, but look at that big old thing right there on top. Awesome. Don't know if that happened in my truck or what, but that totally totally waste money there but uh, what I was saying is you see how small that trim ring is if you go and you take one of these off which is much bigger diameter this is a wiser doorknob and the door is painted you know you're gonna or even if it's on a door that's not painted when you take this off and you put this on this does not quite cover the normal diameter it's a little bit smaller so what happens when you do that is you can see just a just a faint outline and and maybe worse if say the door was painted white underneath there's red uh, and they painted around the knob and you go and you switch it out with one of the 10 B's if you switch out either a Schlage knob or a wiser knob with the LSDA 10 B series that little smaller diameter ring right here uh, you're gonna be able to see around it so I don't use those, honestly, a lot because of that small trim ring. Uh, now, that also leads you into a quandary with replacing the wiser doorknobs in 716 because we don't have an 11P finish or a aged bronze finish. Uh, and, and here comes, and, and, and that's what I meant in the video, the unboxing video, is... Uh, is, is not having the option with both a doorknob with a decent size ring in a wiser keyway because wiser keyway is pretty big here uh, and I'm always replacing. So basically what I do now is just buy actual wiser locks, but we all know wiser is quick set. So therein lies a problem. Again, it's just a quick set based frame. Uh, I'm not fond of the of the springy mechanism that they have. You gotta kinda turn it and, and tighten the screws down. I've had a number of those get loose. What I'd really like to see is a, is a good quality with a bigger ring doorknob, entrance doorknob in a 716 or aged brass, or if they're gonna use, if the 11P apparently is their, their color, that would be an idea. We need a doorknob with a wiser keyway in the 11P finish and then we need double cylinder deadbolts because if a customer, and, and I know about the fire code, we all know about the fire code. However, it, it's an option. We still have customers who own their own home who are freely able to put double cylinder deadbolts on if they want to. And having the option with the double cylinder with a wiser keyway in the same, in the 20 series or the 25, should be the 25 series, would give us a little bit more options than what we have. And then here comes, uh, going back to the Schlage keyway, we're gonna talk about the, the 620 series because it is pretty much the same as the old 
B160 series. So we're gonna go ahead and shift focus to the Schlage version only and take a look at it. So B160, if you're not familiar, it was kind of the, the, the battleship of the Schlage line. It was, it was, you know, it's always been, a, 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 some people don't like it, some people do. You know, there's a lot of opinions on these things. The one, the worst thing about them was of course, the tail pieces that came with them. And in fact, I, I still to this day sell a ton of tail pieces. In fact, I'm gonna reach in my pocket right here and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see we can see that I even carry it around right there. I wonder whose key that is. Let me get rid of that. I don't need that key. See, we carry one-inch Schlage tail pieces around. So this is the tail pieces that came with the B160. I probably don't have them in here. I do not. They were stolen out of here. But with the regular B160 deadbolts, which are on millions of homes still in operation. We have this this latch. Now, before the adjustable came along, you know, you twist it to adjust it, you had just a, a fixed latch only. And the fixed latches were much better in my opinion than the uh, than the adjustable. And, and, and in a lot of other people's opinion, uh, number one, because it is the smallest diameter, it would fit on bar doors that are really thin. Uh, because it didn't have this extra metal shielding, but this one is, is not honestly all that bad. It still fit on a lot of them. Nowadays, a lot of deadbolts come with a heavier shroud, which is great for kick-in resistance, but it's not great for putting them on bar doors that are super thin. Uh, so again, these latches, and I'm bringing this up for, for one main thing here. Let's get this out of the way. So when we compare the two, this is a double cylinder, had the one inch tail pieces. These had five pin if they came standard. These are five pin cylinders. Pretty much everybody's familiar with this cylinder. And you would take your tail piece, angle it, put it in. I've done plenty of videos on Schlage. Turn it up and down, throw your, throw your latch out. And uh, it goes through just like that. You didn't want it to go too far if it went too far if you're putting it on a thin door and you're using the wrong size tailpiece and it stuck out too far when you tighten the inside down what would happen is it would hit each other like like that so that forces you to either cut the tailpiece or use a shorter one it shouldn't stick out more than about that that's that's really all you need it to stick out so i bring that up because here comes the LSDA version, and uh, we open up. These have been around for a long time. Some people don't know about them, which is why, which is why I'm going to talk about this. If, say, for instance, we wanted to replace a actual B160 deadbolt, we can order this. This comes in bright brass and, and this 10B, and uh, I don't know what other color it comes in, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take it apart and and just check it out. Now, remember, this is 61 three finish which is 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 pretty much not seen anymore what's that's kind of like an oil rub bronze basically uh but when we look at the latch we can we can immediately tell without opening anything else that yeah yes it, it is indeed it is indeed the same thing but if you notice one thing about it see those screw holes right there there was a style of Schlage deadbolt out there that came along and it wasn't around for very long. Uh, it's not the 660. It was not the 260, which is this, which is like their worst invention ever. If you have these on your door, just like that, looks like that. You, you really want to, you want to, you want to get rid of these. These, these, these were horrible. Worst, worst design ever. Uh, but there was a intermediate deadbolt that used bigger through bolt screws and on the inside it had somewhat of a uh, a cap like thing we're gonna we're gonna look at the b660 which of course is the heaviest duty and uh we can see and it's like solid this is solid this is a really heavy heavy cylinder and it also used a different latch this this latch kind of kind of led into the b 60 what you see nowadays on the shelf but but the deadbolt that used these taller holes the original schlage 
had the cap that that did this so you had you had that cap and then you had the, this had little tiny screws and the through bolts were bigger so it had to have a bigger bigger hole here you could use these bolts on the 162 it's fine to use or the uh yeah the older 162 is perfectly fine to use them the big holes won't matter but if you tried to use this bolt with the small holes where this was you can't because it has to have the bigger screw holes those were pretty unusual however uh, the whole point of this is is you can also buy these latches independently anybody knows and, and these i'm sure are not made from schlage anymore but they are available as an lsda part so you can buy dead latches now remember dead latches are like a gate latch uh it's used for like pool gates and stuff like that uh and then the dead bolt latches which is an exact replacement if you have a broken latch on one of those but let's take a look at the tail pieces and the cylinders that come in these compared to the schlage one thing to note how well packaged these are with uh with locksmith product right you had all this this extra padding in there you know and as the locksmith you're driving around with it in your van and it's doing this all day long uh so you want it to be as well protected as possible otherwise things happen like that uh that dent i don't know if that dent happened or if it's been like that or i don't, I don't understand how that dent got in there but we're going to take these out now again these are identical down to one or two differences that being the tail pieces that come with it when you unwrap these you've got two different lengths of tail pieces so if you're using it on an inch and three quarter door you would use these the longer ones if you're using it on an inch and three eighths door like an interior door you would use these shorter ones and uh, sometimes you do even if you've got like oddball sizes if it sticks out too far from the latch again and uh, shorter doesn't work and longer doesn't work you can always you can always take a little pair of uh, like mini bolt cutters and just snip the end to make it so that it's only sticking out about that much uh, and the reason these come with the three quarter inch length and then this half inch length is because of the cylinders that come in these right let's, let's get this apart so they got it they got it really well really well kind of packed there uh they are six pin cylinders so because they're six pin they stick out further than the five pin right same same exact thing there but you see see how it kind of sticks out further so if we were to try to use the one inch tail piece where did it go where did it go i don't know oh, there it is uh if we were trying to use the one inch tail piece on the back of that then it would definitely stick out too far because see that, that cylinder that cylinder does let's see can you can you tell see how it see how it sticks out a little it doesn't look like it but it, it really doesn't look like it i don't know where i was going with that uh but hey uh yeah you gotta you gotta use the uh the, the three quarter inch one uh, for a standard thickness door so that's the difference uh, in that. Uh, unfortunately, it'd be really cool if those were five pin, uh, but it's kind of cool that they are five, six pin because even though they're drilled, uh, you know, they're keyed up to a five pin key. Let's look at that bedding. That's pretty good. Uh, we can use a SC4. So if we wanted to use a six pin key, we couldn't use a six pin key in the old B160s, but we can in this because it's drilled for it. So uh, that's a little bit of the difference. What I'm going to go do here is we're going to go ahead and take this off. Another good thing about this is uh, you can take this off and replace the cylinder. So if you had, say, a customer for some weird reason that needed a rust one key, uh, you, could, uh, you could take this cylinder and switch it out with any key and knob cylinder uh, simply by using these parts. You'd take all this transfer it unscrew your cylinder right here it drops out and you can use any type of cylinder even let's say for instance uh for instance if you wanted to put in the you know the lsa cylinder any key and knob cylinder like that you would just take all this off put that in its place uh, but i wanted to go ahead and look at the core real quick and uh we'll finish up so 
No LSDA products ever come with spool pins in it, so there's really no point, you know, looking for spool pins or anything. But we will look, we see, you know, nowadays it's uh, really common for them to chamfer, chamfer the chambers there, and we can see these are not, not chamfered at all, so there's no, no play in the cylinder to, to worry about. It's very common nowadays, so, and I think that came about because people would go get, you know, crappy keys made at hardware stores or big box stores and uh, they wouldn't work and then the, the the tech would be like trying to explain that to customers you know just regular pins in there no security pins or anything uh, so that is what these are and of course again it comes in the single cylinder uh, with the thumb turn we'll look at it real quick thumb turn it's it's identical if you're familiar with if you're familiar with the schlage b160 this is exactly what they are we got the, the thumb turn there held in with the standard ring. Any of these parts are cross compatible. So if I had say this and I wanted to, to use this thumb turn with a single cylinder tailpiece uh, that comes with it, then, then you could do that. Uh, you know, some people have objection to cheapy dead bolts like this. And I say cheapy because these are very, these are very low price point. These are pretty much one of the less expensive ones. It's a grade three deadbolt, of course, uh, with other ones. But, you know, going back to, to the color, that's that's the problem. If we if we take a regular Schlage B60, there's a lot more, there's a lot more features that are a little bit better. Number one, this bolt is sturdier. It's better built than even those. Uh, it's got, it's supposed to be a little bit bigger diameter right there when they came out with it. And of course, we have the shroud option that's removable. So, you know, with the B60 series, even though the cores ended up being this zinc, you know, they, they changed this a couple of years ago and, made, and they're making them all kind of a zinc core or whatever now. Uh, it, it's a lot better deadbolt regardless, but it's also a different price point as well as the B560, which the 560 <laughs> is a, is a, is a it is the same as this it comes with the shroud and i think on it you have to use the shroud i'm not sure offhand i don't have any in stock here uh, but it has the bigger deadbolt it's just a better it's a sleeker deadbolt uh and and it's 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 one of those it's a, it's all on a price point thing you have this and you have that and then you have the 560 and then you have the 660 which is pretty much overkill for residential use but if we hold the 716 finish up, so if we came along and we uh, we have a Schlage doorknob in this aged bronze finish, like so, and uh, you know, say the doorknob's this, and we come along and we replace it with, you know, it looks really similar. So there's not a whole lot of difference in it. You could, you know, kind of get away with it. But, uh, you know, having this extra shroud, you can take it off if you got a smaller hole. You can do all the same thing by switching this cylinder out uh, and, and using all the parts that are in there. Sometimes when you're switching cylinders out, there's a, a little bit of an orientation problem. So you do have to be aware of that when you're kind of messing around with switching cylinders out. But if you wanted to put an Ilco Sergeant Keyway cylinder in there, you could. Same way with this. So uh, that's really it on the 6, what is it? 620, 610, 620 series of uh, Schlage or LSDA deadbolts and they also come uh, in, in, in brush chrome and bright brass and as well as the gate latch so so I appreciate the distributor sending that out thank you Acme, for sending those to me I was aware of those just just to point it out the reason I don't ever buy them often uh, is is because that's one of those products where I would uh, in since it's only available in Schlage Keyway uh, we, you can you can do the same thing with this Schlage Dexter tailpiece. The, you know the the latch is that cross style. Uh, less chance of the tailpiece is breaking because honestly, this was one of the worst things about the 160 series was those tailpieces would break if uh, over torqued or if the door shifted or whatever the case was. But what I'm really really hoping for one day is to be able to see 
A little bit of cohesion on a doorknob with a bigger rosette, bigger rosette to cover up. You know, even if you if you do the 10 B's, just make the rosettes. You know, 10% bigger would be would be awesome. There's no reason really not to. It would cover any damage caused by the old doorknob, and uh, and uh, and a more more wiser keyway in the 11 P, both with wiser keyway uh, and. Um, double cylinder option which is apparently just not totally available uh you know on the commercial side with your with your grade two stuff right here be took me a while to be able to get uh to be able to figure out what these were but if we look at if we look at a 10 be finished right okay so this is one of those things where i kind of like what bring this over here in the light and, uh, and hold up 10 be which is kind of like a kind of like a, a nasty brown color look at that look at that compared to 11 p and 613 is that 613 it is that's 613 right there close pretty dang close that's a 613 which doesn't match anything it's close enough to just the plain tin finish but it's kind of like a, a painted finish uh, so I never have been real, you know, really excited about that. This all goes back to the long argument that, you know, the, the 10B, 716, 613, any variant of dark bronze, especially on the commercial side, I'm going to point to the door over there, uh, because on the commercial side, when you're putting them on a door, uh, the, the mortise cylinders that are 10B are definitely way different than 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 everything else so there's a lot of issues uh that's not necessarily you know anybody's fault it's just different manufacturers you go to a door that just got put in on a commercial glass door and it's got the 10b finish right you've got you got like this right here a 10b you take this off and you go and you get a uh, ah let go you get a 10b lsa cylinder right here right here I'll grab that cylinder and, and and then and then we look at it both side by side and we can see a little bit of a difference there not much that's almost like a like a black finish and then they got brown but it really gets bad when you add the spacer collar to it because the ilco spacer collars are a different shade of 10b they're they're like a purplish color so when you put the spacer collar on this 10b it's one shade here one shade on the spacer collar and then a different shade on the door itself drives me absolutely crazy uh but anyway thanks again for acme for sending me those deadbolts uh if you are interested again a lot of people or some some people not a lot of people some people are like oh my god i can't believe you would sell that crap but you know what? There are different price points for different customers. Not everybody is gonna buy a $100 deadbolt. Not everybody is gonna buy a $55 deadbolt. Not everybody wants to spend $30 on a deadbolt. When you have different options like that, you reach a broader customer base and uh, it sucks for stock. However, again, to be uh, you know in a retail environment, you're not, you're not, every customer is not gonna wanna spend $100. On a deadbolt that's, a, that's just plain and simple just like every every customer is not going to want to eat steak every night they're going to eat the dollar menu at mcdonald's they're not gonna they're not going to spend that much money on a deadbolt they just want the door to stay closed they just want it to be locked and they don't care about pick resistance or heavy duty or blah 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 or any of that they just want the cheapest thing to be able to keep their door locked and that is an option for 10b so anyway thanks again acme for sending that to me uh if y'all have any questions or comments on this or any other video Make sure and post them in the comment section. If you are a, a per, an active locksmith and uh, want to be able to sell LSDA, you got to contact Acme. Whatever region you're in, there's different different branches all over the U.S., so you just have to touch base with them uh, to see about getting set up as a locksmith. Uh, and 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 if you are high volume, that's kind of what they're that's kind of what they're looking for. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch y'all next video.